people that I meet have already given up on their dreams. Here's another thing that I learned. The reason why people don't give it all they got is because they're afraid they're going to fail. So meetings like this, I've conducted thousands of them. Literally. I, I'm one of those crazy guys that love these types of meetings. I actually enjoy it. I'm the guy that makes all the noise in the background. I'm the guy going, yes, yeah, yeah, taking notes. You gotta understand, success leaves clues. If you have the opportunity to listen to successful people, take notes. I love that. I enjoy that. So, a study has shown, if you go to a meeting of any sort, take a class of any sort, and you just sit down and just listen, you are gonna get the least amount from that experience. What they found is, is if you go to these meetings or these classes and you not only listen, but you actually take notes, you retain and get more out of that experience. But here's what they found. The people that get the absolute most out of that experience are the ones that fully engage in the experience. The ones that participate. The ones that fully participate in the experience. Because when you learn from a cellular level, that means you engage your emotions, you put your body into it, you are going to retain more. If you look at your life, the things that happened in your life that were just common or average, you don't remember. It's those special times that really excited your emotions that caused you to remember them. So think about this as a secret to learning. Because one of the things I try to teach people is the skill of learning itself. I was not a student, a good student growing up. School bored me to no end. And it's crazy because today I'm such a voracious reader. I love workshops. I attend more webinars than you could ever even imagine. I go to seminars constantly. I spent a fortune on my education. But I didn't go to the conventional, the conventional route of education, going to you know, UCLA, USC, whatever those great, wonderful schools. I pursued education from attending seminars and workshops and learning about success and business and, and anything that I, what interested me that could help me to improve my life. Because I knew I wanted more than what I was getting at that time. That much I knew. I wanted to make more money. I wanted to have nicer things. There's a lot of things that I wanted. But I didn't know how to get it. And I bought into a lot of the misinformation that sometimes it's, it's touted in society. <laughs> that you need to have, you know, a great education, you gotta get your degree, and you gotta know people and all that kind of stuff. And when I evaluated my life, I didn't fit any of those criteria. So I said, then I'm really out of luck. So what does that mean? Am I gonna have to just live a mediocre existence? Am I just gonna get by? I thought to myself, no, there's got to be a way. And so in 1989, I answered this ad in the paper, and it was a blind ad. And it said, promised, you know, you can make X amount of money, and no education required, no training will be provided by the company. And skeptically, I was, I was skeptical already at that point. I was starting to give up at the ripe old age of 24. Already getting to a point where ah, I guess this is going to be my life. Looks like I, when I look around at my friends and, and, and family, it seems like that's just the way it is. Then I entered this company, and it was a direct sales company. I didn't know it right off the bat. They were kind of hiding that little fact. <laughs> they wanted to get me excited first before they tell me what it is we're going to do. And they did a, quite a good job at getting me excited, painting a picture of, you know, what, what is the lifestyle that people, how they live in, in, in this business, and what is possible, and the kind of achievements that was being made. And so I listened, and I started to buy into it. And as a result, I started to get excited. And you guys know sometimes you hold yourself 
back from getting excited. I, you know why? Because I don't want to fail. So you know what the biggest excuse is? If I don't get excited and nobody sees me get excited, then when I fail, I'm not going to embarrass myself. And I tell you guys, unless you get excited, failure is guaranteed. 